today i am going to explain the first experiment of physics to standing waves on a string what is our objective of the experiment we are going to find the linear density of a string using standing waves that means we are going to use the string and in that string we are going to produce the standing waves and with the help of that we are going to calculate the linear density the formula we are going to that means the equation we are going to use is this which is nothing but frequency square which is equal to frequency square which is equal to 4g m over mu l square okay and you have to rearrange this equation in terms of mu and then substitute the value get the answer the schematic diagram is this one we are going to use some important components the function generator string vibrator and we are going to take the string of length l generally it should be 1 meter and then we have to apply some tension to the string by applying some mass clear so this is our schematic diagram so today what we are going to do we are going to fill this table we are going to fill this table that means we are going to apply some mass when you apply some mass tension will be created on the string and we are going to find the frequency for the standing waves that means we are going to generate generate four loops okay so if you just to see the apparatus these are all the apparatus we are going to use the string vibrator here and which should be connected with the function generator or sine wave generator and here we attached a string having length l generally it should be 1 meter from this edge to the center of the pulley and here we suspended some mass okay if you suspend some mass then only the tension will be generated in the string understand my dear so what is our objective we are going to vibrate this vibrator and when you vibrate this vibrator waves will be generated that is nothing but the transverse wave and at some resonant frequency what will happen loops will be generated so with the help of that loop we are going to find the linear density understand okay here the connection is given we just give 220 volt and then it is connected with a function generator and then we connected the function generator to the string vibrator now i am going to vibrate so what you have to do i already suspend 60 grams to the string and i am going to turn on when you just turn on what will happen generally it should be 100 you have to make this as 1 clear so generally the first step you have to make this as one frequency you can see here you have to make one by using so what are the things here you have two important knobs first one is frequency second one is also frequency so you can use this for changing the frequency in terms of 1 hertz if you use this you can change the frequency in terms of 0.1 and this is just an amplitude so generally it should be at the center if you just see the arrow mark it should be it should be at the center now what i am going to do i am going to generate four loops in this string so if you want to generate four loops in the string it will be little bit harder so first i am going to apply the frequency here to get the first loop i am going to get the first loop so see here i am going to give some frequency and the string vibrator starts vibrating and you can see here the string start vibrated and i am going to set the first loop i am going to set the first loop you can see you can see here there is only one loop am i right so for this one loop what is our value 12 so if you want to get the second loop it should be 24 12 plus 12 it becomes 24 so if i give 24 here then you will get the second loop you can see here i am going to give 24 you can see there are two loops clear there are two loops and if i give another 12 what will happen 24 plus 12 it becomes it becomes 36 so three loops are generated so what is our objective we have to produce four loops so if i want to get another loop that means four loops i have to add one more 12 So 36 plus 12, 50. Sorry, 36 plus 12, 48. So you can see here, there are four loops. 
but it is very small in amplitude. So what I am going to do, I am going to adjust this frequency that means in terms of 0.1 to set a very big loops here. You can see here, I am going to make a fine adjustment. Clear? So, we set 4 loops. So, for getting these 4 loops, what is our frequency? It is 44.9. So, I am going to take this value in this string. I substitute 0 0.6, 0 0.06 uh, kilogram. So, for this 4 loops, how much I got? 44.9. Clear? So, for getting these 4 loops, how much frequency I, I needed? I need 44.9 hertz. So I suspended 60 grams here. You can just have a look here. We suspended 60 grams. If you just see this, there are 20, 20 grams. So totally 60 grams are here. So when you substitute 60 grams, the tension will be generated in the string. And after that, you have to vibrate the spring, string and you have to give the frequency for first loop, second loop, third loop and fourth loop. Our, our main aim is to get the fourth loop. So you cannot be able to get the fourth loop immediately. So better go one by one. If you know the frequency for the first loop, just multiply by four, set that value here and make a fine adjustment. By that you will get four loops perfectly. And once you got the perfect four loops, then you have to write this frequency in this table. Clear? So once you finish this, you have to use your calculator. And please use your calculator, just squaring this value write that value understand and likewise once you finish for 0 0.06 kilogram substitute 80 grams because you have different slots so 60 grams is already suspended and i'm going to suspend it this 80 grams you can see here i'm going to suspend it 0 0.8 grams now again we have to set four loops for the second mass so what i'm going to do again i'm going to make this as one and i have to set four loops again I am going to set four loops again. I told you all the pro the procedure already. First set first loop. Just multiply this with number. Okay. So I am going to set the first loop. You can see here. See, we got the first loop. We got the first loop. And then if you multiply this value by four, you will get the answer. Just a minute. I will just calculate. Get the calculator. Okay, now you can see, we substitute 80 grams here and we got the frequency for the first loop, which is nothing but 12.9. So I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply this 12.9, multiply by four. Why I just multiply by four? Because we have to get four loops. This is the frequency for the first loop. If you want to get four loops, multiply by four. So what should be the value? The value is exactly 51.6. I am going to set this 51.6 here. See here, we got four loops. One, two, three and four. So what should be our value for the fourth loop? 51.6. So I am going to take this value. I am going to write here. What is that value? 51.6. So once you got this value, just square, 51.6 square. My answer is 2662.56. So I can write this value as 2.66 multiplied by 10 to the power of 3. And if you just squaring this, 44.9 square gives you the value of 2016. So I can write. 2.02 multiplied by 3. So likewise, what you have to do, you have to substitute another 20 grams, which is nothing but, which is nothing but 100 grams. Am I right? So 100 grams, and you have to do the same procedure to find the four, four loop frequency and then squaring. Likewise, you have to repeat the experiment for the different masses, and you have to find the frequency for the respective four loops. Understand? So this is the procedure, my dear. Just 
go through the video and then get the clear picture and I will give you the details about this okay so once you get this frequency you can easily find the frequency square and after that you have to draw the graph for frequency square versus mass so you have to take all these value in the y-axis and you have to take all these values in the x-axis and you have to plot the points in the given graph and then calculate understand my dear that's it so once you find the slope once you find the slope you can easily use this equation and you have to rearrange this equation in terms of mu so mu which is equal to 4 g divided by divided by l square multiplied by mass over frequency square clear so m over f square you will get from the graph and which is nothing but 1 over slope when you substitute the value of slope that means 1 over slope you will get the answer for the linear density understand that's it thank you